Hello, just a quick tip on how to use the drum rack. Uh, I have a little drum beat here. Nothing too special. There it is. And it's in a drum rack. Now it would be great to separate these out. One way is to do this. So we'll bring it into the arrangement view. Zoom in here. And once you're in arrangement view, there's our kick. I can drag that pad onto the empty area here and it will create a separate drum rack with the MIDI notes of the kick. So if I hold down Option, I can copy it or I can just drag it over and see what it did. A separate track, separate drum rack with just that one kick in there, nothing else. And it took my MIDI notes. Very awesome, very useful. If we solo it, there's my kick. So I could swap that out with a different sample, use the same sample and just layer it, add to it. So there it is with both of them. If I mute that one. If we go back to the drum rack, since I copied it, it left that in there. But if you just drag it in, so let's drag the snare or the, the clap. If I just drag that in, it'll create a new one. There's my clap. But if we go back to the original, it actually will take it out of the original drum rack. So be careful if you want to copy it so you have both. Hold down Option on the Mac, maybe Alt on the PC. I got this actually from another user, Connor Pogue. He does some cool stuff. Shout out to him. So that's my tip for the day. Very useful trick on getting bigger, thicker drums. Duplicating drum parts. Get them thicker, bigger, and better sounding. All right. See ya.